it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island tour. This is a very unique island today. It is a graffiti core island. Yeah, super excited to look around. It's inspired by Japan, anime, Studio Ghibli. So I'm really, really thrilled to see what this island has to offer. If you guys like being inspired by these insanely creative island designers as much as I do, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I do put out island tours every Wednesday and Friday. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and take a look at this map. This is by my friend Coco, and you can see that is the island name as well. Also, here's the dream address right on the screen if you want to tour along with me. Okay, the first thing I notice is not only the adorable lineup of villagers we have with some new faces, I feel like I don't see too often, but check out those lakes in the background. I think this is gonna be absolutely beautiful. Now, it looks like we have the villagers Tutu, we have Flurry, we have Marshall, also a lot of houses on the beach, which I love. We have Raymond, Philbert, oh, <laughs> Jester, and Marcel. These two I rarely see, but I actually do love them both. Then we have Marty, we have Genji, and then we have Kabuki. So it looks like only a few of the villagers actually have houses on the island itself. A lot of them have beachfront properties, which who can complain? Also, I will make sure to put all of this island information in the description box, including Coco's Instagram account. Please go give them a follow. You will not be disappointed. The creativity has no limits. <laughs> so first of all, this entrance, well, this entrance has a ladder, which y'all know I'm gonna need. But look at this abandoned RV right here. This is going to be custom code central. I can already tell. Wow, and then look at this structure back this way. This almost looks like a public restroom, does it not? Whoa, how neat is this? Okay, well, I'm tempted right away to go up this incline that is presented right out front of the airport. I have a feeling we're gonna have some amazing things to look at here. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, not the map. I need the camera, not the map. Do you guys see this water here at the bottom? Obviously this is custom pathing. This isn't the in-game water, but the way that Coco created all of these little pools and ripples where there's certain items, this is incredible. It really feels like a grungy fishing port docks kind of situation. Wow. Like a cool little fishing village, huh? And then here we have a schoolyard. Also, again, a very abandoned, overgrown type of feeling. Also, look how cute. Is Flurry a student? Maybe Flurry is the professor. is so nice. Wow, again, I really cannot get over the amount of codes here. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is really creative. This reminds me in really in like the 80s, the 90s, all of those stores that would sell electronics would have these massive TVs out front or in the window. Whoa, and how cool. It looks like they customized the uh, record boxes as well as simple panels to have those TVs with the white noise on them. That looks so, so cool. And then here we have the main house. It looks like it is blocked off. Oh, I wish I could talk to you. I'll just wave at you instead. <laughs> but there you go. You know, if you ever want to submit your island but you don't have a house complete, anything like that, it is no problem. We are here to see what you are proud of. Whoa. Talk about abandoned. Look at this. I also love the detail of this little firework that had been put out. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get some urban inspiration today, people. Urban inspo. Oh, and we have a beachside campsite right here as well. Well, isn't that sweet? So before we explore this full right side of the island, also I have to say this Marcel love is giving me absolute life. Look, he's on the locker right here. He's on this sign. <laughs> 
So before we fully explore this side, I do want to look on the other side of the airport entrance really, really quickly just to see what else is there before we can continue on. But this is such a creative way to use simple panels, the record boxes, the in-game televisions. I mean, these codes are definitely giving me life too. So we saw it was up that incline, but what is beyond this RV? Oh, how cool. It looks like we have a little snack stand. I'm loving the use of color too. So much just pops of color against this dreary gray. Oh my gosh, Marcel again. What is going on? What is going on with Marcel? <gasps> Whoa again with the water oh this is gonna be cool okay so I'm gonna ruin the illusion with the water just for a second just so I can get a good view of this structure <gasps> y'all that is something else I'm so glad I came to the side wow also something about the weather how foggy and dreary it is. It just, I don't know, it gives it this very slight spooky element. This is really, really cool. Wow. Okay, well, I'm glad I came and explored this side. Now let's go back to where we were. I'm loving the graf graffiti core. Who would have thought? It's just so unique, so special. Let me know in the comments, are any of y'all attempting a really unique aesthetic, something that no one's seen before? Because this is definitely new to me and I love it. Oh, also, as we're passing back this way, if you do decide to dream of this island, here is Resident Services. This is where you will wake up. And you know what? Let's go ahead and just sneak this way. Look at this little nook. Oh my gosh, and then we have more papers. This is Chester, right? Let me remind myself of their names, but I'm really enjoying. Yes, Marcel and Chester. How funny. So it looks like we have the villager custom codes just kind of splattered throughout for whatever reason, but I really like it. So I'm thinking, let's go up this, I guess the, I don't know which incline first which incline first the blue one we're gonna do the gray one making an executive decision to do the gray incline first oh <gasps> whoa but before we do that and now it's all kind of making sense why these villager houses are on the beach because there are so many ridiculously creative structures that coco made on the island like this who would have ever thought to use the stalls and then put fish and sea creatures on top to make this window-like roof? Wow. What a unique way to use your peninsula. <gasps> um, okay, I know I'm pulling out the camera a lot, but this is cool. Do you guys see how the standees have in them this little detail that blends in with the cliff? Do you guys see that? They're actually not cut in that certain shape. It's just the way that the code creator made them, which is absolutely brilliant. Okay, we'll go up the incline now. I am very much rambling, but I am so excited. Look at this. Oh my gosh, and here we just have like a little cafe. Also love the little decoration on these hats too. And this is one of our very few villager houses that is actually on the island and not the beach, which it is Marcel's house. Oh, and there's Chester walking around back there. Oh, I see that blue incline actually brings us right here too. <gasps> Holy smokes and an insane view of the museum. Wow. That is really cool. Yeah, something about whenever islands are set in this fog, it creates the perception, I don't know, like 10 times more deep, it seems like. And I know that's not true, but it feels that way. Hello, Chester. I'm seeing your face 
on papers, yours and your buddy Marcel's. What's going on? What's going on with that? And it doesn't look like we have an incline back here. Whoa, is that a hedge fencing? That is, I think that's really, really neat. This is so neat. It's funny how we kind of have escaped the graffiti elements and now we're definitely getting the more Japanese village type of elements on this part, which makes sense. This is where several of the villager houses are. Man, this is so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna then go to, I guess the left. I can't get over this view though. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and I take it back with the graffiti. Whoa. Wow. This artwork, it, it reminds me, and I don't even know if it's supposed to be an actual replica of like Banksy artwork, but it definitely uh, gives me Banksy vibes. Is this another view? What is this? Oh my gosh. Oh, how neat. So it looks like this used to be some kind of water pool situation because you do have that water spout and a little QR code right here. And then you have this lifeguard chair. So this totally feels like because this is an abandoned island, that this pool has just been dried up. Oh my gosh, I was right. There's literally a sign that says pool. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Whose home is this? Is this? Oh, this is Chester's home. Oh, how funny. And then you have, of course, a little umbrella, a sign for Chester. <gasps> Check out that standy design with the tire swing. Whoa. So this is like an abandoned park back here. Wow. These standees are really, really cool looking. Look at the fish in that little bowl. Wow. And looks like we have a little stargazing area right here. Oh, whoa, is this a lake? Is this the lake that we were? Oh, yes, it is. At first I thought we were at the back of the map and this was the ocean, but oh, wow, y'all. Oh, I'm speechless. Look at that, the floating island in the background, and then you have those trucks to create this amazing depth perception along, along this winding road. Okay, this is really, really cool. Wow. Oh wait, this might be a better view back here. I knew this would be an island where I whip out the camera, but oh my gosh. This is absolutely stunning and, and so insanely creative. Oh, I don't even, I don't even know what to do. Oh, another lookout point. <gasps> yep, this is just lookout point central. Holy smokes. You even have a little train right here. How is this even real? People, I swear, play a different game than I play because I put down a flower and call it a day, but this is a work of art. It really, really is. I don't know what else to say other than that. Wow. Well, I'm kind of just all over the place, but I am going to go to the right <laughs> and explore down this way. I am just in absolute Aw, oh, truly. Oh, and then here we have a little farm. Yes, I did see this area from up above earlier, but how cool is it to look at it? Down here. Again with these standees. I am obsessed, holy moly. The 
This is such a unique island. Again, something like I've never ever seen before. I'm just absolutely floored. So it looks like we can get back to these floating islands. It's just a little, you know, a little hop, skip, and a jump. Whoa. Wait, whose house was this? Was it, I think it was Genji's maybe? Wow. And they get their own, it feels like a tree house, but you know, with all of this graffiti and the urban elements, I wonder if there's a way we can get up. There might not be. Oh, there definitely is. It's an incline. I never see this red incline used either, or it's very rare when I do. Wow, check this out. Was I right? Yes. How cool. And they just get this back corner of the map all to themselves, which I really like. And then, oh, here's our secret beach. I didn't even realize that this kind of connected to these floating islands back here. Wow, so the secret beach still very much is accessible. You just have to sneak to it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and go back to the left side. I am just pretty floored. I don't know what else to say. This view blows my mind. It, it really, really does from the trains to the floating island back there. Man, there's something about perception builds that really just, they take my breath away. Like, look at that. The trains are all by themselves floating out there. I absolutely love it. But this winding road, I think, takes the cake. I mean, that is just, I know we've seen it. I'm going to show you again. That is beautiful. And the, okay, this is really cool with this view in particular because you can see the trains on the right hand side just slightly. And maybe, you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, those are probably not meant to be trains. They're probably meant to be like fairies because they're in the middle of <laughs> the water. <laughs> and such a beautiful spot to do stargazing. I absolutely love that. Can I get down over here? I wonder if I can. Mm, hello? Oh, yes. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Is anyone else just absolutely blown away by all of this? Just me? We have another lookout point. Oh my gosh, to Able Sisters. Well, this is so sweet. Look at Able Sisters right there. Just on its own little island, like a little archipelago. I swear, ever since I did that island tour that was all uh, archipelagos, I cannot stop saying that word. <laughs> on a little beachside soccer field or a foot football field if you're in the UK. I feel like most people say football. It's just us in the States. We're like, man, soccer. Wow. Look at this arcade. Oh, how cool. So one of my favorite builds that I've done was actually an interior of the tree house that's on my old version of Calico. And it was an arcade, but I love seeing it outside. So much fun. Man, check this out. Oh, we have a little dig site right here. Oh, hello, gold. It's buried treasure right there. This is just stunning. I swear, the artwork on these simple panels and on the stalls. I mean, it's something else. There's just nothing quite like it, huh? structure that we haven't seen. Oh, and there it is, is Nook's Cranny. Well, hello, Raymond. Wow, what an entrance to Nook's Cranny, too. Are you kidding? You even get this mini land bridge. Oh, I love it. Wow. Not really sure what else to say other than that. 
I am so impressed from, oh, we get to walk on water. Wee! <laughs> I am seriously so impressed from just the small, look, look at this, look, we got a little turtle right here hanging out on this little boat structure. Uh, I'm so floored. The ripple lines on the standees. This island is absolutely stunning. What else is there to say? I've never seen anything quite this creative and I am so honored that Coco is letting me tour it. Wow, I can't get over those views. I'm gonna have to go back and take some pictures there because that is so stunning. Look at this little standy down here. Oh, can I get down? Look at this, how creative. This is another one that's gonna warrant the camera coming out because similar to the ones we saw earlier that had the um, the cliff markings in it, so does this one. So it looks like there is a little critter hanging, hanging out in there. <laughs> how unique. I love it. I am just absolutely blown away. And now we are back at that front left. Oh, this, this is the view, isn't it? <laughs> well, y'all, I do hope that you are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much to Coco for letting me tour this stunning, creative, beautiful graffiti core island. I feel so inspired now and I'm gonna go back to designing my island and try and make it just a fraction of how cool this one is. <laughs> Please go give Coco some love. Again, everything will be mentioned in the description box below. And let me know in the comments, what kind of island do you want me to tour next? Do you wanna see something more natural? Do you wanna see something really whimsical? Maybe it's your island. Let me know. I hope y'all are having an amazing day and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.